Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Calico. Uh, this is an indie game that just recently came out. Uh, I don't know how it plays at all, but I know it's a game about magical girls opening a cat cafe together. Which is... It's like this game was made for me. <laughs> so let's just dive in and have a look and see what it plays like. Um... I have absolutely no idea. All I know is that that's the concept. Peachy Keen Games. Made with Unity. Kitty. There's a kitty. And it says loading. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay. I don't know how much loading it needs to do. It might be setting up a save file or something. I have no idea what this game's about. Calico- Oh my goodness, this cat's flying everywhere! <laughs> oh wow. Okay, um, I can't use the D-pad to move move my selection paw, paw, paw print. I have to use the left analog. Uh... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, you have to use the B button to go into settings and the A button to go back out. Uh, it's like it's treating it like the X and circle buttons on a PlayStation or whatever, instead of the A and B buttons on a Switch. So that that's kind of a strange choice. Um, yeah, uh, the only button that I can press to interact with the new game option here is the B button. That's a little weird. Enter name. Uh, is, it, is it my name? Uh, I'm going to assume it's my name. There we go. Finish. Use this name. Yeah, say B confirm, A cancel. It's a very strange choice of button assignments for a Switch game. I can't believe I'm starting my lo new life tomorrow. Ugh, I have to pick something to wear. Oh, okay. Uh, it's character creator. Uh, let me see. Um... Okay, you got a lot of options for skin colour. Kind of surprised they didn't make the human ones a bit more obvious. Like, and all the very strange, odd ones a bit separate. But, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter that much. Um, there seems to be a lot of options here, and I don't really know what to make of it. Uh... Hmm, I was hoping for glasses, but that doesn't seem to be one of the accessories. Oh, and the blush is white by default? This is a- this is a strange design for a game. <laughs> uh, let's make it a little pinkish? Like that? Oh, it's like She-Ra. Cute. Eh, that'll do. Um, okay, and you get different hairstyles. Yeah, it's kind of weird that there aren't any, like, templates here. Like, you have to do everything from scratch. I wonder if you can come back and change this later. Oh, nice. I guess that that's why it can be any colour, because you can do this instead of having hair. That's pretty cool. Uh... Oh, I like that one. Uh, there we go. That's not my actual hair color at the moment, but I, I think it's cute. So I'm going to go with it. What does this do? Oh, I see. It makes your tummy there a little skinnier. Is this boobs? Yep, that's boobs. Plus? Oh! Oh, that's cool. That's a nice feature. Bit more butt. <laughs> okay, that's some decent character creation features. Shoulders? Oh, it makes them wider. Fair enough. Nose one. Uh, nose two. I don't know what these, these effects have. I only have the one nose as far as I know. And then there's pose. Eh, the default is probably fine.
Yeah, none of those look like glasses. Hmm. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that works. Are there more? No, there are quite a few hairstyles. That's a nice amount of selection there. Clothes, head. Uh, I don't seem to have any clothes yet. I assume I'll unlock more of this later. Because these sections are all empty. Uh, I, I guess I'll unlock some stuff that I can wear. about that mouth. That looks kind of weird. Maybe like that? I don't know. Yeah, let's remove. Can't... You got remove. Let's continue. <laughs> Can be changed later. Yeah, I figured that. I figured that because of the clothes being empty. Uh, I guess I designed a character, sort of. Uh, okay, this is a bit framey. What are we seeing here? Do, 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 do. I like the music. Oh, cute. Da, da, da. I like this art style. Calico. That's the title of the game we're playing now. It's the game. That's the game. Oh my gosh! Uh, hello! Welcome to Heart Village. I'm Kiva, the mayor of this little village. We are so excited to have you here. We're also sad to have your aunt retire and the cafe shut down. Honestly, the village just isn't the same without her. But she did send me a postcard last week, and it looks like she's really enjoying travelling. Apparently there are cats on other islands. Isn't that amazing? Oh, whoops, of course you know all about that, having come from another island. Anywho, all that matters is that you're here now. First things first, won't you look inside your new cafe? It's a little boring and empty right now, but that's up to you to fix. Why don't you go inside and check the place out? Come back and talk with me when you're done. Oh jeez, wait, even more first, I need to give you your welcome gift. Here's a couple things that will help you settle in. Okay, I can jump with the B button, apparently. Hold the pet. Oh, let's pet the kitty. Kitty. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at all these options. Use toy? Oh, I have a fishing rod, apparently. Oh, no, it's like a cat, cat rod. <laughs> Pick up calico? Let's go, kitty. Hold to wiggle animal. What? Oh, I see. If you hold the R button and then... Uh, move the stick. The cat just goes... Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, kitty. Okay, um... I think time is passing, yeah. Uh, inventory. Currently is empty. Toys. Toy on string. Furniture sets. Potions. Potions? Okay. I can pause. Let's have a quick look at the settings. Oh, those are the same ones we already saw. Uh, so that's fine. And there's audio as well. Oh, I can turn some things down. I won't, though. Uh, talk. Hey, friendo, did you check out the place? I love the layout, and that star-shaped skylight is so pretty. There is a lot of work to do, though. It's completely empty of both people, animals, and food. Both three things? Okay, but that's not how it works. Actually bought you some furniture to help out, but I embarrassingly didn't know which kind you would like best, so I ended up bringing a whole bunch. What would you say your style is? Uh, I think cute. 
Oh, perfect. I have these items of that type. You should place them in the cafe when you get time. Okay, let's go into the cafe. Uh... There's my bed. Save and sleep. Is there like a wardrobe or something? I kind of want to change my shoes. It looks like I'm just wearing socks. Uh, sit. I'm pressing the Y button, but nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can sit here. It looks a bit janky, but okay. <laughs> down button? Oh, okay, you change your character by pressing down anywhere. You don't need to find a wardrobe. Uh, shoes. There we go. They still just like, look like socks, but yeah. Oh, I can take them off entirely. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably fine. Oh, I pressed plus and it sort of froze for a little bit. There we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. How do I put the furniture in here? Furniture sets cute. Yes, please. Cute table, cute chair, cute sofa. Okay, so I selected a table, I can just move it around like this, and spin it around. Uh... Furniture... Oop. It's gonna take a lot of button presses to go in and select things and then come back out. Can I like copy the thing I'm, I have selected or something? Hmm... Oops. Do, 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 character. No, that's the wrong button. I need minus to open the furniture set. How many chairs do we have? I think not enough for, for the way I'm trying to lay them out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can go over here in that case. Okay. Uh, and then we want some sofas as well, so... Just put it over here in the corner. There we go. Uh, there we go. That should do the trick. Over here we got a book. Can I read it or something? Interact with it? Hmm, doesn't look like it. I am a little confused. Hmm, okay, what's next? Animals! Your aunt always had a bunch of cute, cuddly animals in the cafe. Honestly, it's the best part of the whole thing. Why don't you look around and opt an animal for the cafe? They are all over the island. As long as they don't belong to anyone else, they're available for the cafe and your new fuzzy family. Okay, so that cat from earlier, this one. Hello. Animal command menu. Follow me. Are you following me? Yeah, I think so. What was that last thing? I can't seem to recall. Oh, food, duh! Okay, so the other thing you need to learn is making food for the cafe. Can't have a cafe without cafe food and drinks! You aren't let you a couple recipes, but it's not many. I'm sure if you talk to the other villagers, they're able to share some family recipes with you in exchange for your help. But for now, why don't you head into the kitchen and try out one of those recipes? Sounds good. Oh, something else to note. This island is very much based in old magic. The way we do things is a bit different here. I think you'll really enjoy the cooking though, it's pretty fun to throw an egg the size of your whole body. Oh, you'll see, go try it out. An egg the size of my whole body? Uh, okay. Hang on, kitty. Uh, go to the cafe. So that's what this is for? Recipes? Yeah, make food. Uh, what looks tasty? I don't think I have any of these ingredients. I'll try making a cupcake and see if it'll let me. Oh, I'm tiny! <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I do have ingredients. Okay, so this is this is an egg? Yep. Is it like a bowl? Yeah, there we go. Get in there. Oops. Come back, egg! Oh no! <laughs> I'm very small now. Chuck. Oops. 
Chuck. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, come back. <laughs> Chuck. Okay, I'm having trouble with this. Um, am I supposed to jump and throw it or something else? Maybe something to go in this bowl? I should stand a bit further away. Let's try from maybe here-ish. Chuck. There we go. Okay. Then we need some butter, which is this stuff. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Here we go. Okay, then we need sugar. That's salt. Um, that's coffee beans. That's chocolate. Cinnamon. Chocolate. Flour. There's sugar. Sugar. Chuck. And we need flour, which is this one. Chuck. Put the finished food in the tray. Oh, look, it's a cupcake. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Let's just walk on the stove, perfectly safe. Oh, I'm big again. Okay. Let's talk to Makiva about what we just did. Hello. I'm so proud of you. You're a natural. I guess all that's left is meeting some of your neighbors. You should go around and meet them. Unfortunately, we have had some problems traveling to and from the other areas of the island, which sucks. I haven't been able to get to the hot springs for months. Maybe one of the villagers has an idea of how to fix some of the blockades. Anyway, I hope you get the cafe back up and running. If you ever want to chat with me about it, I live down this road right here, past the town center. See you, friendo. <laughs> Is that like a, I don't know, a bicycle or something? It says mount. I might be able to ride a vehicle to go a bit quicker. Uh, what do we got over here? Can I bring that cupcake with me? It doesn't look like it. It just sort of sits there. Alright, uh, map. Okay, that's where I am. All right. Uh, quests. Kiva, there is Kiva. Oh my gosh, I just noticed. Hang on, bring that back up. Uh, what was it? Quests. Um. Pronouns. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, da -da -da. And the animals page has a calico cat. Can I rename them? Oh, I can. Uh, I don't think I will though. I think calico is a fine name. Uh, status. Oh, I can move them somewhere else if I want. Okay. Or give them an accessory. Do I have anything? I don't yet. Okay. Well, I guess I'll head down this way and see what I can find. I can see a blockade over there. These trees look very ethereal, like like clouds almost. Just the way they animate. <gasps> a new friend. Hello, new friend. Hi there, my name's Maya. Maya? Yeah, Vice President of the Owl Club, at your service. Oh, but I'm sorry, I'm the Vice President of nothing right now. There was a landslide that blocked the path into the mountains. If we can't get to the mountains, that, mean, that means we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters. If we can't go to the Owl Club headquarters, that means you can't meet Freya. She's the President of the Owl Club. And the President of my heart. Oh, I'm in a real pickle of beans right now, is what I'm saying. I don't know if Kiva mentioned this to you, but there's a landslide at the entrance of Snowbell Mountains. It's such a bummer. Can I help? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing! I have no idea how you can help, but if you find a way through, I promise you can be a prestigious member of our club. I've asked everyone in town to help, but no one could, except except for Autumn. I haven't asked her yet. She lives in the bottle on the top of the hill next to your cafe. It's really, really high up, and I'm scared of heights. I know that seems weird for an owl-based magical girl, but I can't actually fly. Oh, adorable. Uh, let's see if anything's up here. 
Dim. I assume now that, uh, if I bring up, no, not that one. Bring up the quests menu again, look at the townsfolk page. Uh, we should be able to see the character we just met. Yep. Oh. Oh. Vice president of the Owl Club and girlfriend of Freya, the club's president. Oh, oh, this game. It's so cute. Oh, I'm gay. Uh, I can't go in here, apparently. Can I jump over this? Doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, I can. Uh, no fall damage, good. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that would be a mistake. Uh, if I look at the map now. Yeah, people are throwing up instead of question marks by the looks of things. Okay, so let's keep wandering this way. Calico is this game. This is Calico. I kind of think I should have like a bicycle or like a scooter or something. Because I'm walking pretty slow and I'm getting the impression I'm supposed to be able to go faster. Hello. Oh my gosh, are you the new cat cafe owner? I've been so excited to meet you. This is the best day ever. My name's Maribel and I own the fashion store in town. You should come by and see my clothes. You would look amazing in them. You already look amazing. I love your outfit. You can always have more. Oh, okay. Um, let's go and... What have you got? Okay, yeah. Uh, I can get a cowboy hat. Rabbit ears. Deer ears. Oh, that's cute. Wolf ears. Tights. Long gloves. Uh, panda ears. Oh, that is cute. Let's just grab these. Here we go. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> oh gosh. Hello! Oh my, what do we have here? A new customer? Or should I say a new neighbour? You're the one that took over the old cat cafe, aren't you? I always admire the industrious spirit. I'm sure we'll get along famously. Please have a look around my store. You'll need to furnish that cafe if you want customers. Okay, so your store's the furniture store? Yep. Shop. Okay, I can buy I can buy recipes here too. Okay, that makes sense. I think. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Uh, oh, there's a house up there. Oh, oh, hello, 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 bunny. Stanford. Oh, oh, good bunny. Hang on, can I pet the bunny? I can pet the bunny. Oh, this game is wholesome. Hang on, what are you doing here? Hanging out in the garbage. Hello. Yeah, meow. Meow, mew, meow, 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 meow. Uh, okay, you sell things. Uh, like secret things? Or something? I don't know. Y you're a shop. Um, you in my townsfolk list now? Pronouns, pronouns. Oh, it's so wholesome. Oh gosh. Oh, here's someone else. Hello. I like your hair. Hey, always cool to see a fresh face around here. I'm Ash. I um work at the general store. I guess I'm Estelle's assistant. I don't always get her, but I've learned more magic from her. I never did in magic school, so this job isn't the worst. Oh, what are your pronouns? They them. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so cute. He lives up here. Some more friends? I think you were on the game's title splash screen sequence. Oh, um, hello, you must be the, the new ca cafe owner. Kiva offered to help me take care of the cafe, but it turns out cats are very different from flowers. They both require a lot of love, but cats don't like getting watered. <laughs> oh, cutie. Oh, my name's Blossom, by the way. It's nice to meet you. If you ever want to plant your roots and soak up some sun, you can visit the garden Sunny and I share on the hill. Oh, who are you? Oh, you look cute. She, her? Oh, girlfriend. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm just, I, it's just very queer. Is this the garden? Or is this... Meow? Hello kitty. Hi, hello little kitty. Pudgems. Oh, I'll give you pets. My, my, um, my, my model is glitching out a little bit, but you're getting pets, that's all that matters. <laughs> is, is, are you Sunny? 
Hello. Oh, you are. Hiya, I'm Sunny. Blossom and I are so excited about the Cat Cafe reopening. It's where we first met. Oh, cuties. I thought about running the cafe myself, but that would have spoiled the magic for me. Besides, I'd rather run the Boardwalk Arcade. You know, I get the high score on every machine I legally own the place. Hmm. I don't think so, but I love you. <laughs> oh, Stanford's gone to my cafe? Okay, uh, I didn't really mean to do that, but okay. She her? Okay, I just, I just want to make sure. Next to her, door to her girlfriend, Blossom. Oh, this one's your house? That's why it matches your color scheme, I guess, because you've got blue clothes and hair. Oh, cute. Uh, someone else down there? Jump. Oh, oh, you got a little witch hat. Hello. You there, you look like a person that appreciates a good flower, and we appreciate people that appreciate good flowers, because good flowers is what we've got. Uh, I don't get to practice my sales pitch to new people very often, but you get the idea. I'm Lily, I hope my pops run the flower store. Okay, so you're the pops? Well now, look who it is. It's been so long since I've seen you, why you've grown up from a sprout to a sunflower. We've never met before, have we? <laughs> Oh, thank goodness, I thought I had just forgotten. The name's Poppy, I run the flower shop along with my daughter, Lily. You can never have too many flowers. Uh... Poppy, he, him. Lily, she, her. Oh, she's doing a little cute thing. She's doing the, you know, the peace sign thingy. Oh, okay, I've only, I'm missing one person in the village. I assume it's Autumn. Uh, and then there's some more people in the mountains and... Cutie City? Oh my gosh. Oh, there's Oliver. He him? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Okay, cool. Uh, map. Okay, so Autumn would be down there where the question mark on the map is. So, I guess I'll head that way. I think it's this sort of direction. Uh, I hope there isn't really a time limit. I can see it says Monday and time is slowly passing. Uh, you can see like a clock above the, above the cat there. Not above the cat, the cat, it's got a cat with sunglasses, is my point. But yeah, time is passing, so hopefully we'll be okay, we'll see how we go. Oh, hello little puppy. Hello little puppy. Can I command you to go to the cafe? Go to the cafe, little puppy. Uh, well they're not moving. I don't know if that worked. <laughs> Okay, so over there would be where Autumn is, up this hill, because, um, what's her name? The first person I met, uh, Maya, there she is. She's scared of heights, uh, so she can't actually go up here. It's kind of awkward that she's scared of heights and her girlfriend lives in the mountains. That's a bit sad. Okay, well, here we go. I wonder how I get more money. I assume like people have to come to the cafe and maybe they'll give me stuff. Like they'll, they'll buy things from me and then once they've bought things from me, uh, I will be able to buy more cute clothes. I, I assume it's something like that. Oh, it's like a geodesic dome up here. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Your order? Oh, you're a bit creepy. Greetings, traveler. Monk to my palatial emporium with potent, potable, portable, pourable potions. I'm Portum. Autumn. I'm Autumn. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I don't have any potions available right now. My cat Char is missing. I have no idea where she is. And the warrior has got me totally behind on making potions. Wow, that would be incredible. I have a feeling she might be near the center of town. Last time she went missing, I found her in a pile of clothing at the clothing store. Uh, she wasn't there when I checked earlier. It's probably a good, good place to start. Okay. Um, can I climb your ladder? Whoa. Whoa. The camera doesn't quite like me walking over there. <laughs> so it's a little bit janky here and there. Okay, here's someone. Hello. Oh, it's a crow. Um, go to the cafe. <laughs> Can I safely jump off of here? Let's find out. Yep. <laughs> 
had a feeling it would be okay. Okay, so if the water's deep enough, you do swim instead of just waiting. Wasn't sure about that. Do, 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 do. Autumn's cat char. Okay, so the center of town, it's like roughly where uh, Sunny and Blossom's garden is, right? Like, that looks like the center of town to me. You know, what happens if I zoom in? Oh, okay, I can zoom right in and have a real close look. <laughs> uh, let's go look, center of town. I assume the cat won't have shown up before I uh, talked to Autumn about it. But I could be wrong. Oh, there's a cat. Is that the cat? Hanging out on that rooftop? Black cat with bright green eyes? That could be Char. Um, can I get up there? I guess if I go through here? Nope, can't go through the door. Can I jump up from over here somewhere? Oh, I don't need to jump up. It's pretty easy. Are you Char? I found you! Oh, let's go! Come on, come on, little kitty. <laughs> oh, ZL and ZR let you zoom in and out in normal gameplay too. So I can zoom right out and have a good look at what I'm doing like this. I can also zoom right in, like this. Huh. Uh, probably about there is good. Okay. Um, do I need to avoid getting in the water, or will the cat be fine with that? I guess the cat's fine with that. Okay, it's getting dark. I don't think there's any kind of time limit here, but, like, time is passing. Hopefully I don't do something that wastes too much time, but I don't know if there's anything like that. Let's go, kitty. The cats like being held like this. I, I kind of thought they didn't, but maybe this is the right way to do it, I don't know. I know when I hold a dog, you've got to, you know, support their hind legs as well. Or, I'm not sorry, their legs, but their hind quarters. <laughs> and you hold them, you know, in normal dog orientation instead of dangling like this. Um, but I am not as familiar with the holding of cats. Perhaps this is what they like. <laughs> Greetings, traveller. I can't believe you found my char so quickly. How can I ever repay you? Oh, hmm. That's a hard one. It would be great to be able to go back to the mountains since one of my biggest customers is there. Lumi up at the Snowbell Hot Springs always commissions potions from me for her herbal baths. I don't really make potions that blow up rocks, though. Let me think about this a bit. I got it! Come back tomorrow and I should have something ready for you. Um, do I have to walk all the way back to the house to go to sleep? Or can I, like, walk back there somehow? I think I have to walk. Eh, alright. We can take another look at the scenery. I think we're relatively close to the cafe now anyway, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Okay. We should be fine. Yeah, I assume there's some sort of vehicle. Like, it might be like a, a horse or something. Because it's because X is mount. Um, and I haven't seen anything I can mount yet. I don't know if it's going to be like a bicycle or like a horse or a scooter. Oh, hang on. There's a little... Oh, look at the little fish pond. Oh, that's cute. Hello, fishies. Hello, fishies. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> 
Some kind of run button would be nice. <laughs> Hello, bunny. I accidentally adopted you. Oh, look, it's the, it's the star-shaped uh, skylight thingy. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at all the animals I have. Save and sleep. Game saved. Oh, look at all the sleepy friends. New day. Pick up the potion from autumn. Okay. Uh, let's head back over there. I assume, like, I don't know if it'll be an exploding potion or, like, something else that removes the, the blockage, because she did say she doesn't do potions that blow things up. We'll see. We'll see. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Let's go for a gallop. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Oh, gosh. Well, I can get to the mountain now. Oh, hello. I'd like to be your friend. Let me just hop off my kitty for a second. Hello. Snowy deer. Uh, become my friend. Can I bigify the snowy deer or is it already big? Oh, now they're tiny! <laughs> Make him big again. There we go. I seem to be able to ride the deer for some reason. I can ride the cat though. Yeah, having the mount command show up seems a little bit unreliable. Okay, there we go. Okay, I probably want to head up that way first. Uh, to where those where those buildings are. So this sort of direction. This is a silly game. Okay, we got a bridge. Probably don't want to go in that water. Oh gosh. Oh, a new friend. It's another kitty. Oh god, there's a bear. Can I be friends with the bears? <coughs> hello, bear. Hello, hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Yes! <laughs> Go to the cafe, Mama Polar Bear. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. Uh, you, yeah, you go to the cafe as well. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, this is so silly. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Uh, where am I? Okay, if I keep going, I think the way I'm facing? Or is that? No, no, I want to go this way. To go where the way the question mark is. I think a compass would be very helpful. Uh, and the game doesn't have one of those. Oh, are you, are you, are you, what's her name? That, that, um... I can't remember the characters' names. Uh, Freya. Are you Freya? You are Freya. Thank you so much for fixing the path. I missed Maya so much. She's the coolest. We met over our mutual love of owls. I mean, we're also both owls. But we also really like owls. We have an owl club together. Uh, we we have one other member named Ash. Ash isn't an owl, but they said they really dug owls. <laughs> Cute. Okay, uh, there's also another person over this way, I believe. If you look at the map, so you can see like a paw print in the middle of the map. This is the right way? No, that's how you get back down the mountain. We want to go that direction. Let's go, little kitty. I mean, big kitty. Bunny! <laughs> Someone already bigified that bunny. <laughs> Hello, large bunny. Uh, I guess someone else must live here? Uh, I don't know who, though. Uh, someone with lots of animals. Oh, a cutie. Hello, cutie. What's your name, and what are your pronouns, and why is it snowing inside your house? Welcome, welcome, come in from the cold. I am Lumi, and this is my Odinson, the perfect place to revitalize your body and mind. You must be the one that cleared the path from Heart Village. I can't thank you enough. You and your animals can use the Odinson anytime you want, free of charge. Uh, cool. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna check the townsfolk menu to see who you are. Lumi. She, her? Okay. Owns the Onsen in the mountains. Sweet, relaxed, and a great hostess. She loves the snow and snow animals. And there's Freya. Aww. Gay. <laughs> Cuties. Uh, is there anything I can do in the Onsen? Can I, like, rest here? Let's see. 
Uh, that's like a bed. Can I sleep in it? Or is it... I have to go home to do that. Can I interact with any of this stuff? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Might just be decorative. That's okay. Come on, Calico. Oh, look, the paw print on the map is actually accurate. There really is this paw print shaped lake over here. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and there's my little cafe. Oh, and there's... What is that? Like a, a bell? A really, really big bell for some reason? Kind of confused. Go up the hill, kitty. Uh, it's sort of working. Okay, yep, we're, 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 we're Elder scrolls it. Let's go, let's go. Let's Skyrim this. <laughs> this is working better than I expected. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Hang on. That's like a kitty mouth, and then there's a bell. I bet, I bet the whole mountain is, is like, has like a giant cat head on it. And that's why there's a bell, because Kitty's wearing a bell. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wonder what the game wants me to do now. Like, there's no active quests. I, I guess I can go tell someone that I've done... I I've opened the path. Um, if I talk to Freya's girlfriend again, maybe? Uh, I'm so bad with names. Maya, if I talk to Maya again, like, they'll make me a member of the Owl Club, right? Because I, I fixed the mountain. Oh, water. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Glad this game doesn't have any fall damage. Because <laughs> there's a lot of really high places I want to jump off of. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, so what's over here? Is this Cutie City? Oh, there's a, there's a barricade. Uh, can I get through here? Or do I need some new item or something? Meow, 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 meow. I'm sorry, what? Meow, 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 meow. Can I go through? Meow. Oh, okay, I have to ask to see what the problem is. Around the mountain. Okay, we'll see if Freya knows. I assume I was supposed to go this way first, and then I would know that I need to figure that out. But I, I, I didn't. <laughs> oh, this game is so cute. I wonder if there's characters you can romance. Like, if you look at the Townsfolk menu, they all have little hearts, but they're also all also dating. Like, a lot of them already have girlfriends, but maybe they can be Polly? That would be so cool. Uh, I don't know if that's what happens or not. But, I mean, there's little heart meters. I assume that means you can romance some of these characters at least. It, it might just mean, like, a friendship relation meter or whatever normally for some of them, but, yeah, it could also mean that you can date them. We'll see. Hello. Who? Oh, you. Construction cats? Oh yeah, those construction cats are somehow more stubborn than that pile of rocks was. Haven't been able to get through to them, but do you know who can solve any problem when they put their minds to it? Assemble the Owl Club. Uh, Owl Club? You've met Maya already. She lives in the treehouse near the mountain. Ash works at the general store and has a house near there. Need anything? Can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think that different kinds of animals can be friends? Yeah, definitely. I've seen it in the cafe. Even cats and birds? I think the birds are such great pets. They are smart and their feathers are so beautiful. I wanted to ask you to look around for a nice bird and let it stay in your cafe. Okay, no problem. Pick out a feathered friend of your cafe and let me know when you're all done. I've done it already. Uh, uh, do I need to bring the bird here? Because, I mean, I have a crow. Is that not what you wanted? Okay, I think I can bring the crow over here if I do that. Yep, there they are. Uh, I'll just bring you the crow and say, here's a crow. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm holding them. Oh, oh, you can store animal and they go on your head. Oh, adorable. <laughs> Look how cute that is. <laughs> And then we, oh, and then we can get, oh, oh, look how beautiful this is. Let's go. Oh, we can't go that way. <laughs> I guess that's because it's the very top of the map. 
Oh, uh, star animal. Let's go. <laughs> I I am having a wonderful time. I think having the bird on my head is actually making me hover a little bit. Like I think I got a little bit more hang time. Oh, this is adorable. Wonder if I can ride. Oh no, you you can't use the enlargement thing on birds. That's right. I was thinking if I could make a bird really big and then hop on their back and maybe I could fly around, but I can't make them really big because the magic doesn't work on birds. Some sort of fast way to get around would be nice. Um, I mean, I'm faster now that I'm riding a cat, but like a fast travel back to the Calico Cafe would make sense. Hello there. Owl Club. Owl Club? Owl Club! Owl Club! <laughs> okay, go talk to Ash as well. Oh, Maya's cute. I'm so glad I am her friend. Woo! Yeah, I'm definitely getting some gliding time from the fact that there's a bird on my head. Hey, friendo, how are you doing today? Anything? Didn't I hear it was you that cleared the way to the mountains? Boy, am I glad to have someone like you around town. I was finally able to make it to the hot springs again. Being mayor of the whole village can be pretty stressful sometimes. There's nothing like a soak in Lumi's onsen. Just make all of those worries melt away. I guess I forgot how much you needed that once in a while. You should try it too. You've been working so hard and doing such a great job with the cafe. I was being at the cafe. I know of an animal that will be a perfect addition. Oh really? There's a red panda who likes to hang out around the cliffs at the edge of Heart Village, near my house. Whenever I see her, I like to give her treats and play with her, but recently I've had so much on my mind that I haven't been giving her the attention she deserves. Now that the cafe is back, didn't you have room for her there? She loves to have company, so I know she'd fit right in with all your other animal friends. Of course there's room for her. Let's start looking over there. Uh, is this one your house that you're standing near? I don't know where you live. Go up! <laughs> Can I go into this door or is that... no. Just thought I'd check. Okay, that's Ash's house. I don't see them. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Hello, Ash. Sup? Oh, they sell things? Hang on. Hang on, let me just, uh, dismount momentarily. There we go. Uh, what's I say? Oh. The controls are a little bit weird for some reason. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, I see. It's not you push the direction you want to go. It's 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 you scroll across and select what you want. Okay. Uh, bagel recipe, cute sofa, cloud coffee table, spooky sofa, basic desk, spooky bed, basic rest, red trash, basic cat bed. That costs zero for some reason. Not gonna make any money selling things for zero. Owl club. Oh my gosh, it's back on. That's great. Oh wait, I can't attend any owl club meetings when my work is done. As soon as the mountain pass was clear, we got a huge supplies order from Lumi. I've had to spend all day putting it together. I haven't done my deliveries yet. But owl club. But owl club. Say, since you're so eager to join, do you think you could help deliver some things while I close up the shop? Then we can go to owl club. Yeah, deliveries. Yeah, deliveries. Yeah, owl club. God, this is so cute. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's all furnishings. Do, 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 do. Hello. Howdy there. Uh, need anything? Gosh, you look so cute today. I'm glad you asked. We actually do need something from you. I've been chatting with S Safina over in Cutie City about some new marketing strategies for my clothing shop. Have you met Safina? She's brilliant. She knows everyone, and she always knows the latest trends in fashion, too. Anyway, she's just tried to do a photo shoot wearing some of the clothes I sell for an article her friend is writing. The article's about 21 fashionable business women of the 21st century. I think that was it? The point is that I need photos. Your shop's been looking so adorable, I thought it would be the perfect backdrop. You don't mind, do you? I can come really early in the morning, so I won't get in any of your customers' way. Sure, sounds fun. That's great, I've got some new cloud pattern dresses coming in, so as soon as they're here, I'll pop over to take the photos. Oh gosh, what would be really great is if you could find a cloud-themed prop or two I could use in the photos. I can cover the costs and give you something extra for your help. Okay. It's gonna blow Safina's mind. Oh, cute. Do -do -do -do, I got the bird on my head. I really want I really want to get some glasses, but I haven't seen them anywhere. 
Oh, yeah, cattail. Obviously, I need that. Uh, tank top? Yeah, like a tank top. Uh, long skirt. Not enough monies. Oh, no. I'm out of monies. Uh, let's get the boots. No. How much money do I have? 200. I have exactly enough monies to buy the boots. Don't I? That's confusing. Okay, well, I've got more clothes now, so let's see what I can equip. Uh, nothing accessory. Yep, tail time. Let's go. Shoes. Socks. Yeah, that looks better. Better, better, better with socks, yeah. Uh, I can wear a tank. Really want to get a skirt as well, but apparently I can't afford it yet. I don't know how you get money in this game. I guess I'll find out. Here we go. That'll do. Uh, I still don't really like the way the, the mouse looks. I'm not sure if I can tweak that somehow. Hang on, you can remove the... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It, it it looks a little weird on my character. I don't know. Everyone else looks fine. It's just my character looks weird. Okay, well, I've got new clothes anyway. <laughs> yep, got a tail now. Let's go. Oh, hey, actually, having the bird on my head makes the, like, head ornament disappear. That's kind of weird. Didn't expect that. Uh, let's go, kitty. Uh, could you deliver supplies to Lumi? What else do I need to do? There was some other stuff. Darling, so good to see you. Uh, up, up, up. Uh, stop moving! <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, hello, I'm trying to talk to you. Do you need anything? Apologies, you're caught in the middle of 20 different things. Work seems to be endless when you're your own boss. Say, can I ask a favour of you? I just had an item coming from Mayor Kiva, I'm too busy to deliver it right now. Normally Ash does deliveries, but I've got them in inventory today. Would you be willing to take this over to the Mayor? It's the customised ergonomic desk chair for her office that she ordered in. I know she's been looking forward to getting this help with her work, so the sooner it gets to her, the better. Okay, I can do that. Darling, you're a lifesaver. Cool. Um, I guess I have several quests now. Whoa, look at them all. Uh, go talk to Kiva. Cloud furniture. Find a bird. Assign the bird to the cafe. Oh, the, the bird I already have, I unassigned from the cafe. Is that the problem? Uh, animal command. Go to the cafe. Does that work for the quest? Now I talk to Freya. Okay. Okay, I've, I've done the right thing now. I guess. Hello. Hey, friendo. How are you doing today? Talk about something. It's nice to see you again. How can I help? I need help you today. I've got a package from Estelle for you. Is the special chair I ordered? I'm so happy. My sore back and I thank you endlessly. Tell Estelle I love it. Oh, I will. Where is Estelle? Just over here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Hello. I did the thing. Oh, typo. Estelle loves her new chair. It should say Kiva loves her new chair. Well, I think I should hope so with how much that thing cost. Thanks again. You really saved me there. Here, let me pay you back. Oh, she gave me a bunch of money. Okay, so that's how you get money. You do quests. Okay. Uh, let's grab ourselves a skirt. Uh, I can long skirt's probably what I want. Yeah. Yeah. Long skirt. Buy long skirt. There we go. Then I can go... Over to clothes, and I can go... Skirt time. Oh, hang on, what? Is it... Is it outerwear? Where did, where did it go? <laughs> Maybe it's further down the list somewhere? I, I'm confused. Maybe I didn't buy it properly. I'm not, I'm not seeing it in the list. 
So I am a confused. No, no, I bought it. Um, hmm. It's not like an accessory or something? No, it, it's clothes. It's just not showing up where it, I'd expected it to. Is that a glitch? Hmm. Hmm. Confusing. Okay, let's just proceed for now. Um, oh! Alright, I got the potion out. Uh, go away, potion. I, I don't need you right now. Oh, I'm still holding it. Um, do I just go back into the potions and select it again? Or Nope. That doesn't put it away. Oh, there we go. Just press A to get rid of it. Okay. Uh, what else needs done? Uh, I need to talk to Freya. Uh, there should be a panda near Kiva's house. I need to talk to Lumi as well. Can I turn more than one on? Oh, I can. Oh, cool. There we go. I think this one is Kiva's house, so in theory the panda should be just here somewhere. But I am not seeing them. Hello. Yeah. Now, what's for sale? Uh, donut, kitty plush, hair tie, cloud carpet, toe bean, toe bean sofa. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Uh, no, I, st I still really want um, spectacles, but no one seems to have them. Uh, well, let's let's do some of these quests, I suppose. Back into the mountains we go. Although we could talk to some other people first. Oh, they're gardening together. Oh, cuties. You two should date. Anything? It's my little tradition around here to give a gift out of my garden to any newcomers. Say, you experience with flowers? Uh, not really. That just means you get to experience it all for the first time. I'm super jealous. Here, this is for you. Please put it in your cafe. I hope it brightens up your life. Take care now and come back to visit any time. Thank you, Blossom. Hey, Sunny. What's up, friendo? Anything? Anniversary. Oh, your anniversary's coming up. Four y- Oh, cuties. We've been dating for four years. Can you believe it? It's been so wonderful. Ah. Oh, right. So I told you about how we first met in the cat cafe. And now that it's reopened, I want to take on a special anniversary date there. It's the perfect spot, and I was thinking what would make it even more perfect would be if you could help me decorate it a little. Do you think you could add a piece of flower style furniture to the cafe before then? You know how much Blossom loves flowers. Sure. Oh, thank you. Gosh, I can't wait. The cats, the sweets, the flower decor. This is going to be the perfect night. Oh, cuties. Oh. This game is so adorable. Everyone is gay, and I love them. <laughs> oh, gosh. I wonder if I can get more potions if I talk to the potion lady. That might help me, like, do extra things I can't do already. I'm just looking around. Hey, the lighthouse. I haven't been down there. Can, can I go down there? Uh, looks like no. It's like a wall. I seem to get, get there from somewhere else that I haven't been to yet. Well, um, let's make our way past Autumn's house and back towards the mountain again and see if Autumn, ha Autumn has a spare potion for us that maybe we can get to do some extra things. Uh, can we Skyrim our way up here? Oh, uh, yep, we can do it. Yep, Skyrim, Skyrim, Skyrim. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know if this is like how cats actually work or not. I kind of suspect it's not. Oh uh, no, there's not enough platforms there. Yeah, it's not quite as ridiculous as the horses in actual Skyrim, but it's still pretty silly. Especially since I'm riding a giant cat that I enlarged with magic. It's not that far anyway. Here we go. Excuse me, Calico. I need to get through here. Greetings, Traveller. What's for sale? Nighty night potion. Change time to night? Become an ice cream sundae? 
Stop, stop or start the clock. Oh, I see. So there's a whole bunch of potions that can just mess with everything. Reverse Griffin potion. Okay, I don't have enough money to buy any of these things, but I think I do want to keep an eye on this. I'm relieved that our plan to get the mountain pass open worked. Great job, Traveler. Think you'll be passing through there again soon? Uh, yeah, definitely. If you're going soon, could you do something for me? I make the herbal potions that Lumi uses at the onsen. She placed an order right before the landslide happened. If you take it up there for me, I can give you some of the payment. Sure, but why don't you take it yourself? Ugh, it's kind of embarrassing. Okay, fine. To be honest, I've been avoiding going up there for a little while now. It's because of Lumi, actually. The two of us have worked together forever. We used to spend hours hanging out at the onsen and talking about new recipes for our potions. The thing is, ever since I turned myself into a cat, I just can't stand going into the hot springs. I tried to explain to Lumi that I just don't want to anymore, but she can't seem to accept it. She's always trying to come up with some new magical cure that will make me enjoy the onsen again. But this is who I am now. I like it. Now she would get that. You should probably talk to her. I tried to talk to her, but I always get too upset. Maybe you could try, but I get it if you don't want to get involved. Okay, I can try talking to her. Really? Would you? Thank you, Traveler. Oh, I like these characters. Uh, they are very wholesome. Okay, uh, now I have a bunch of reasons to go visit Lumi. So let's go visit Lumi. <laughs> so yeah, there's a, I, there, there's a bunch of potions there. I assume there'll be ways to like fast travel and stuff as well. I didn't see that in the options, but chances are it exists. And like, presumably the potion shop has rotating stock like the other shops in the game. Even if not, like, being able to change the time between day and night and stop the clock and stuff, that sounds pretty great. <sighs> also, there was definitely a thing to turn birds into griffins, which is pretty much what I was talking about with being able to ride the birds and go fun places with them. So, yeah, that it does seem to be an option. Keep going this way, I believe. Oh, they're together! Alright, because we're, we're meeting for Owl Club, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. But also, they're dating. And it's super cute. Hello. Who? Oh, you! I did the thing! Hey, you made it back, and I heard about your wonderful new feathered friend. Hope you remember that with plenty of love, anyone can be friends. Here's a gift for you. Take care! Thank you. Uh, and I need to talk to Lumi about several things. Lumi is up on top of the onsen, so let's go up there. What's down there? Is there anything of interest? Uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot. Just snow, but looks of things. Hmm. Oh well. Here's the onsen. Um. Oh, there's Lumi. Sitting in the hot springs. Looks comfy. Hello, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, supplies delivery. Wow, running a cat cafe, clearing rocks, and you make deliveries too? Here's a little extra for your hard work. Remember to take a day off every now and then. Maybe relax in a hot spring? Uh, I talked about something. Come on in, it's good to see you again. Oh, you brought Autumn's potions for me? Thank you so much. Gosh, I was hoping she would come herself, though. I haven't seen her in ages because of the landslide. And I had a great new idea for a magical swimsuit that would keep her dry while she soaks. She doesn't like to get wet anymore, now that she's part cat. 
Actually, about that. Hmm? Did she say something to you? Oh, she feels like you didn't accept her new form. Oh, oh dear, I don't feel that way at all. I think it's a really cool that Autumn is part cat. She's so amazing and adaptable for just being totally okay with it too. I just feel so bad that she can't use the onsen anymore. She gives me a big discount, but I always used to let her soak for free too. Besides, I miss hanging out with her in the hot springs. I think she'd appreciate hearing all that. Thanks, newcomer. I'll remember that. Anyway, here's the payment for Autumn. Can you bring it back to her? Uh, need anything? So I see you back here again. Heart Village likes travel. He don't mess with newcomers or get to see them much. It merely is a bit of a climb to get up here from the village. Not everyone can take the cold. But hey, since you seem to like it up here, maybe you can do a favor for me? What do you need? Makes me a little sad that some of the people who live in the woods around town don't get to experience the magic of the snowy mountains and their animals. There's so much to love about the mountains. There's the beautiful views, the trees, and the fluffy snow, but the best part is all the special animals that live up here. My favorite is the Arctic fox. It's so majestic. I thought if you had a snow animal in your cafe, it would be a great way for the townsfolk I able to make the trek up here get, here get to know those animals too, and appreciate a little bit of the mountains. And it might even encourage some people to come up here. To come up here, who knows? You got it. Oh great, I'm really impressed that you're able to accommodate so many different kinds of animals in your cafe. I've got my hands full with just my capybaras. Oh, there's capybaras over there, all oh, cute. I think I saw an arctic fox wandering around not too far from here. Let me know once you've got her settled in. I want to come visit. Uh, does it have to be an... An arctic fox specifically? It does. Okay, and I haven't got one of those yet. Spa day? Uh, yeah, I want to go back and do that. Place Blossom's gift in the cafe. Oh. Uh, yeah, I could deliver, deliver eggs to Kiva. This is so adorable. Look at this cute game. It is uh, so cute. I want to go talk to Autumn next. I really want to fix up their, their relationship. They seem very sweet. Is this a waterfall? Can I, can I swim off the waterfall? Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, super safe. <laughs> Actually, I'm closer to the main city. I might go talk to Kiva first. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying this. Uh... Oh wait, no, this is this is the atelier. Not the atelier, the cafe. <laughs> it's not an atelier. <laughs> it's a different thing. <laughs> Although it is similar. Uh... Let's put Gloss Bo Blossom's gift in the cafe and see if that affects anything. I'm curious to see what effect that has on the game. Boop. Uh, boop. Flower. Flower wall decoration. Oh, I see. I can stick it up like this. Uh, there. Tell Blossom the flowers look great in the cafe. Aww. There's one over here as well. Can I move it up and down? Uh, it doesn't look like it. It's kind of strange. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, that'll do. A little bit of lag there, but it's working. It's working okay. Uh, where's my kitty? There's my big kitty. Let's go, big kitty. Okay, we are closest to Autumn's place, so let's just make our way over to the big creepy mountain. <laughs> I guess the small creepy mountain? It's like a hill. Come to think of it, how does... was it... Maya? She's scared of heights, right? So, how does she hang out with Freya on top of the mountains and not go up this little hill? Which is not as tall as the mountains. It's a little confusing. I, I guess because the mountains are wider, she's not as close to an edge as much. Excuse me, Calico. I need to go talk to Autumn. Hello, Autumn. Greetings, Traveler. I did the thing. Have you made it to the mountains and back already? Yep, I talked to Lumi too. Really? How How did that go? I think I might have gotten through to her. I still think the two of you should have a heart-to-heart -heart about things. And you might need to renegotiate the discount you give her. She feels uncomfortable about it now. Gosh, I told her it wasn't a big deal, but I guess I wasn't listening to her when she said it mattered to her. 
Thanks, Traveler. I'll take my potions up there myself next time. Here, let me thank you for all your help. Okay, she gave me some money and a potion, I think. Uh, no? Oh, she gave me potion-themed furniture. Okay, I see. Um, uh, what's for sale? Rainy day potion? Double time potion? Witch toy? Power makeover potion? Dreamer potion? Sunday best? Become an ice cream sundae? <laughs> Reverse griffin potion? Good morning potion? Nighty night potion? Hmm... I want to see what this one does. Now it's got to find a regular griffin. That's not a griffin. No, not a griffin. You know, a cat. Not a cat. The other thing. A bird. <laughs> oh my god. There's one. Hello. Uh, potion time. Here we go. <laughs> oh, adorable. Oh, but I can't ride. I can't actually ride them because they're still bird size. They just have griffin fronts. <laughs> oh, you can still sit on my head. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, let's go talk to Kiva. Um, I'm up. I'm an hour and fifteen minutes now, so I probably should wrap up the video. I am really loving this game. Um. I think gameplay-wise, there are a couple of things they could potentially tweak to make it work a bit better. Um, having like a mini-map or a compass or something would help with navigation. Like this map is basically static. Uh, it shows your dot, like a red dot where you are, but it's not clear which way you're facing, for example. Uh, whoops, there we go. Um, so it's a little tricky to keep track of how you're navigating to. It's becoming clearer. As I play more, I'm getting an idea of what's where, uh, so it's not too much of an issue, but, um, you know, it would be helpful, I think, at for especially for new players, to have more of an idea of where to go when. Uh, I can hear a crow. Is it the one on my head? <laughs> uh, I was looking for Kiva, but she doesn't seem to be near a house. She may have gone for a wander. Oh, when you tell Blossom the flowers look great. Hey, Blossom. Uh, dismount. Hey, Blossom. Good morning, Starshine. Is it morning? Oh, yeah, it is. Just. I was in the cafe earlier and saw the flowers I gave you. I'm so happy you like them. Stop by any time, okay? Oh, she gave me $200 for some reason. What's up, friendo? I did the thing. Oh my gosh, I know. Our date went so well. Thanks so much for getting that furniture. Blossom and I sat together, surrounded by flowers, and played with the cats, and ate so many sweets. So, so many. I mean, you know that because you were there, you sold us the sweets. But it's strange, it almost feels like it was just the two of us in our own little world that night. Gosh, Blossom is so cute, isn't she? I almost forgot, I wanted to thank you for making my night so perfect. Please take this. Oh, you two are adorable. Where is Kiba? Maybe just at the cafe? I don't know. It's interesting that I don't actually have to live, like, work at the cafe to have stuff happen. Like, I didn't actually sell them the sweets, it just sort of happened. While I wasn't looking. <laughs> Oh, look! <laughs> oh, adorable. Uh, can I use the potion again? I probably have to dismount to do that. No, use potion. Trying to turn you back into a crow. There we go, now you're a crow again. Or a raven, as the case may be. Yeah, you can just sit on the cat's head. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Oh, look sleepy. 
Sleepy time. Oh. <laughs> oh, this game is cute. Game saved. Oh, look at that capybara. Oh. Let's give some eggs to Kiva. Okay, yeah, I need to wrap up. Uh, I've been recording longer than I probably should have. This game is so, so, so cute. Um, I think there are some, like, minor polish issues here and there. Things like uh, the map not having any sort of compass to go with it. So it's a little hard to, like, associate places on the map with where you are. Uh, unless you've had plenty of practice, anyway. Uh, you get a better idea of how the village is arranged as you play, but like at the beginning it may be a, like more of a guided tour would make sense instead of just, you know, wandering around and talking to everyone. I don't know. Uh, it works it works okay mostly. Um, I think being able to get money a little more easily might make sense because I keep like spending it all on one thing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the shop got today. Uh, still no, still no, no glasses. Oh, there's that too. I, I really do want to have glasses for my character, but they don't seem to be showing up. Uh, let's get some jorts. Okay, so the jorts are showing up, but where's my skirt gone? Hmm. <sighs> yeah, that, that was a bit of a bug, I think. Like, I bought the other clothing item and it just sort of disappeared. It didn't actually go into my inventory, so I can't use it. Which is frustrating, because I, I wanted it. I wanted to wear it. Um... Uh, I think maybe like a jump back to the the cafe button would make sense. There might be a potion for that, but if there is, it's taking me a while to get it. Um, it just seems like the kind of thing you should be able to do without having to worry too much about it. Um, I'm really liking all the characters. Uh, they are super cute. Everyone is, is the cutest. Just, just everyone. Um, Possibly except my character. I don't really like my own design that much. I think everyone else is cuter, so... I don't know if the character creator is the problem or if I just used it wrong, but maybe, like, the default template should be cuter. I don't know. It's <laughs> uh, a weird thing to say, uh, but it doesn't quite look right to me. I'm not sure how to, how to address that. Um, anyway. Uh, I think that's about it for this video, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're as excited about this ridiculous game as I am, because I am so excited. Hey kitty, what have you got? Not enough monies? Uh, okay, this is the same sort of stuff as yesterday, nothing super exciting. I still can't find Kiva anywhere. This is where Kiva lives, right? This house? Pretty sure. Hmm. Arabelle, Freya, Lumi. Oh gosh, look at all these different people. Oh, Blossom has two stars. Oh, it's because I helped them out. Oh, cuties. There's Autumn. She accidentally turned herself part cat in a magical experiment, but doesn't mind. She sells potions out of her potion bottle shaped home in the woods. Cute. Oh, Estella's adorable. There's Ash, they're super cute. They have a bad work ethic, but are passionate about their studies. <laughs> oh, look at all these cuties, I love them. Uh, there's Maya, uh, I'm actually looking for Kiva. Old cozy home on the cliffs. Maybe this is the wrong place, because this isn't really the cliffs. 
Maybe she lives somewhere else. Oh yeah, there she is. She's over there. Okay, that's, that explains why I couldn't find her over here, because I was looking in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up anyway. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this game looks ridiculous, and I'm so glad I picked it up, and I'm really happy, and it's so silly. And there's the red panda! Oh, oh, look, red panda! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, it's a red panda! Hello, little red panda! Oh my goodness, come on! Come on, go to the cafe. Good little red panda. Talk to Kiva. Okay. Hello, Kiva. Hey, friendo. How are you doing today? Egg? I love egg. Oh, you mean my delivery. Yes, thank you for egg. <laughs> the writing is so cute. <laughs> how are you doing today? I did the thing. I was in the cafe earlier and I saw patches there. Patches? Oh, I guess I forgot to tell you. That's what I call the red panda I told you about. I was so happy to see her in the cafe. Lily was in there playing with her and she was loving the attention. I know Patches will be happy there. Here, take this as thanks. It's Patches' favourite toy. I won't have much use for it now she's with you. Uh, so does that go into my toys section? Yep, I got an egg plush. Fetch. Oh, cute. <laughs> there they go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, go kitty, go! Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a game that I like. Bye! Oh, oh, I see. The cat's holding on to it. Come on, kitty. Give, give it. Give me. Give me the toy. Give me the toy. Give me the toy. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Pets now. You're a good kitty. Okay. Bye. I said bye a bunch of times. Just a long video.